bundle. On Friday afternoon, Wendell's parents dropped him off at Sophie's house. Wendell's going to spend the, the weekend with us. Will his par parents visit Ralph's town? And Sophie's mother? Oh, boy! And Wendell? Oh, Wendell and Sophie's anything. After I snack, Sophie helps Wendell carry his computer bag and suitcase upstairs. Well, what are we going to do now? Do you have a choice? I don't know. It's always fun to go to Is that all you got? I got a million to go to that. What else is there to do now? Said Wendell. He's the playhouse. Said Sophie. Only oh, back of the girls. Said Wendell. So the playhouse and Wendell made the role. He was the father, the mother, and the pastor. Then they played house. Wendell was the doctor, the nurse, the patient, Sophie was the desk. In the return they worked in the bakery, one was the baker, and Sophie was the street room. Isn't this fun? That Wendell, Sophie didn't say anything. After the Wendell said that he was already crying for more, so he didn't have to eat a vegetable. And then when Sophie was looking at scoop, it was being offered as earth. Whisper Sophie. After Sophie's parents stuck Sophie in the red zip window and the sleep in the kiss window and turn off the light, off the lights when the grab this flashlight and shone it right into Sophie's eyes. See you tomorrow. Oh, yeah, but she said smiling. Sophie shut her eyes and said to herself, On Saturday morning, Sophie woke up. There was a lumpy little monster choking up and down on her, on her bed. It was Mondo. She fell from her and pinched her leg at breakfast. It was Mondo. She was coming from the room closet. Wendell used Sophie's pans and left them out on the porch so they melted. At dinner? No, at, at lunch. lunch. Wendell was in her pan and was a pan of butter dough. Isn't this fun? Said Wendell. Sophie didn't say anything. What is Wendell eating? Whispered Sophie. Soon. Said her mother. Soon. Said her father. At that time when Sophie shut, Sophie put her head on the floor. She had something crunch. There was no phone with her. It said, see you tomorrow. Sophie shut her eyes. She said to herself, before one of the parents picked him up on Saturday morning, Sunday morning, he tried to make a long distance call. He, he, he wrote his name on the bathroom mirror with toothpaste. And he gave Sophie and Mirdo with whipped cream. No whipped cream. I mean, with, with shaving cream. Why did you go outside to only wash yourself? You can put fire further. Said Sophie. Oh boy. Said Wendell. So they paid for it for her. Sophie made the whip. She was the first sheep when it was the burning building. Isn't this fun? Said Sophie. Wonder and Sarah's thing. Do I just be the fire chief? Ask Wendell. Maybe, said Sophie. Soon you know Wendell and Sophie didn't care who was the fire chief or who was the building girl. Time to go. Time to go. Said Sophie's mother. Time to go. Said Sophie's father. Already? Said Wendell. Already? Is Sophie. But his mother coming back. Half Sophie. Never. Said her mother. Never. Said her father. The afternoon when Wendell unpacked his suit his ears and they come straight enough from Sophie. It said. I hope I see you soon. Goodbye. Oh, and bye.
I, Kevin Hill, Marinator 1, Parker, Marinator 2, Boa, Owen, Ben, Mother, Geffen, Father, Sivan, Miss Tweezers, Akira. Owen had a fuzzy yellow blanket. He'd had it since he was a baby. He, wa he loved it with all his heart. Fuzzy goes where I go, said Owen, and Fuzzy did. Upstairs, downstairs, in between, inside, outside, upside, down. Fuzzy likes what I like, said Owen, and Fuzzy did. Orange juice, baby, chocolate milk, ice cream, peanut butter, apple sauce cake. Isn't he getting a little too old to carry something around? Haven't you heard of the blanket fairy? Asked Miss Tweezers. Owen's parent had Miss Tweezers go them in. That night, Owen's parents told Owen to put Fuzzy under his pillow. In the morning, Fuzzy would be gone, but the blanket fairy would leave an absolutely wonderful, positively perfect, especially terrific big boy gift in his place. with Owen and Fuzzy helped become invisible. And Fuzzy was an essential when he came to nail clipping and haircuts and trips to the dentist. Can't be a baby forever. Haven't you heard of the vinegar trick? Said Miss Tweezers. Own parent had him. Miss Tweezers filled him in. Then when, when Owen wasn't looking, his father dipped Owen's favorite corner of Fuzzy into a jar of it. Owen sniffed it and smelled it and sniffed it and picked a new favorite corner. Uh, then he rubbed the smelly corner all around the sandbox, buried it in the garden, and dug it up. Good as new. Said Owen and Fuzzy wasn't very fuzzy anymore, but Owen didn't mind. He carried it and wore it and dragged it and sucked it and hung it and twisted it. What are we going to do? asked Owen's mother. School is starting soon, said Owen's father. I can't bring a bike to school. Haven't you heard of saying no? said Miss Peters. Owen's parent had a school with over in. I have to bring Fuzzy to school, said Owen. No, said Owen's mother. No, said Owen's father. Owen buried his face in Fuzzy and started to cry and would not stop. Don't worry. Suddenly, Owen's mother said, I have an idea. It was an absolutely wonderful, positively perfect, especially terrific idea. First she sniffed and then she sewed, then she sniffed again and sewed some more. Snip, 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 <laughs> so, so, so.
Hmm, how am I going to build my... How am I going to build my own house? Is this true? Well, yes, it's true, but I'm not sure what I should build my house with. Well, young kid, I just made a little new house. What do you mean? Let's see, I have some freshly cut hay, some sticks, and some bricks. Wow, I just love that golden yellow hay. It would be perfect for my nail house. I'm so excited. Mm. I don't think that's such a good idea, young kid, but it's your house. Just be very careful. Whatever you say, farmer, I'll make the best house for him. There is your money. I'm out of here. Hello? Hey, it's out here in the book. 
Hello, Sleeping Beauty. I am sorry. My name is Laura, more famously known as Sleeping Beauty. Listen, can you do me a favor? I spent so much time of this story sleeping. Can you change things around a bit? I kind of tell the story, so not really. So, look, a hundred years is way too long for someone like me to be asleep. Even though I do love my beauty sleep, can you just snap the air from Shaman here sooner? You know, speed dial or something. Oh no! Well, let's, let's move on to another story, shall we? We'll try Cinderella. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Cinderella. She? Could you call me I don't really like Cinderella. What? Cinderella is such a weird name. I like Sid. You have a store named after you, and everybody knows you by your full name. Have you seen my shoe? No. Now, can I start the story? Sure, go ahead. I'm going to look for my shoe. Wait! To a little red riding car. Wolf howls every night right under my, my window. I mean, wolves. They could eat something next time. Just don't include the wolf. What? I have a great idea. How about a lamb instead of a wolf? I could say, my, what soft wool you have. This is getting out of control. Hey, I'm Jack. I'm tired. I'll go over work and on the Oh, no. First, you got me jumping over candlesticks and on fire. Then you got me climbing huge green stuffs and getting chased by giants. Then you got me climbing up huge steep hills and catching pails of water. And then you got me sitting in a corner pulling plums out of pies. Has anyone considered a mortgage of the plums? <coughs> it's ridiculous. I need to talk to my agent. Oh. Oh, I think it's five. Okay. Oh, uh, hey, one other thing, thing you didn't let me finish my point. Can you believe he's another guy? Hey, get out of my way. This is my story. I've had it. <coughs> uh, 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 that's better. Uh, 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 Be great. I can say, my, what soft wool you have. 
This is getting out of control. Hey, I'm Jack and I'm tired. I'm overworked and under paid. Oh no. First, you you got me jumping over candlesticks that are on fire. Then you got me climbing huge beanstalks and getting chased by giants. Then you got me climbing up steep hills and fetching pails of water. And then you got me sitting in a corner pulling plums out of five. Has anyone considered I'm allergic to plums? <coughs> Guys, 